Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Chaz here bringing a new video on Duel Links, and today we are looking at an Armored Dragon deck for Chaz himself, because of the Chaz events and everything. So yeah, I'll quickly go over the deck and we'll jump into some PvP and see what we can do with the deck. So, this is the deck that I've gone for. It's pretty simple, the cards are not too hard to get hold of, except um, the Armored Dragon itself. Armored Dragon level 10. Um, obviously it's like the other leveled creatures, you have to go up to up the leveled to manage to get this on the field and if we do manage to get this on the field you can discard one card from your hand and destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls really powerful effect and it's a 3000 attack beater really cool we've got armored dragon level 5 everyone knows that it's been in the game for a while we're running um two of these it does piercing damage 1800 attack level 4 and um, we're running armored dragon level 7 as well really really cool uh, what's this? You can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, destroy your face-up monsters your opponent controls with attack less or equal to the one you sent. We're running two Spirit um, spirit Ryu, and you'll understand why in a minute, and we're only running two Armored Dragon level 3. We're running Soul Exchange, so we can get level um, 5 out, because it doesn't have like a special ability where it has to be special summoned. So we can Spirit Reaper it, and the other reason is we can use this. You can get this through PvP tickets, it's a rare so it's not that hard to get. And what we do is target one face up monster and we basically level it up. So, for example, Spirit Ryu is a level 4 dragon wind type. So we can send that to the graveyard with this spell and we'll be able to get a level 5 wind dragon type out. So we can get armor dragon level 5. Um, and the same with that, it's a level 4 wind type dragon. So we can use that. We've got the 3 power ups and mirror wall just in case to be safe. So yeah, it seems like a okay-ish deck, and we'll just see if it can actually do anything in PvP. The Armor Dragons are never going to be like a completely um, meta-ish PvP kind of deck, because it's so hard to level up your dragons and get them um, going. So yeah, it kind of sucks in that regard. There's still really cool cards to own, and um, they're one of the most iconic, like, cool cards in the game. But not PvP worthy. They're way too slow. Unless you manage to like pop off with a mad combo and get out your high level dragons really quickly. And then you just pray they don't have like floodgates or mirror walls or wall of destruction or enemy controller or anything else. There's so much stuff that can like just instantly shut them down. So we start off with an okay hand right now. It looks like we're going against six Sams. Hopefully he doesn't have a floodgate on the back row. Because we can just Armored Dragon and then level it up to a level 5 straight away. So he sets 3 back row. And he will have a heavy back row if he's running 6 arms. So we got 6, I mean we got level 10 in our hand but it doesn't seem like it's going to be needed anytime soon. What sucks is we're going to go right into our level 5 right now and then he's going to floodgate it. This is what I'm on about with this deck not going to be like super competitive. Because you have to keep doing all this stuff to level up your creatures and then they're just going to get floodga floodgated. Wait for it. He's thinking about it. But he also has a wall on the back so he's wondering if he should keep it on the fill to um, wall or just floodgate. So we'll set our two mirror walls and end our turn. I think that instantly destroys. Wait. Yeah, it instantly destroys the monster that he attacks, which is unfortunate. And right now he can pop one in my back row. I thought it'd be just fun to give it a go. It could be a lot more fun if I was a lower rank, because obviously I'm in Legend, and a lot more people are tryharding up here to try and to get and uh, try and get King of Games. Right there, if we pulled a... We'll just keep that up. We can get that to 2000, but there's no need yet. Um, yeah, if we pulled a level up, that would have been handy. Because then we could have gone into level 7, and they've added a level 7 animation, I think it is. Which is pretty cool. Or if I don't get to show you the animation, I'll go, um, face a level 10 duelist and show you guys the animation. So we need to draw into a level up.
I was going to bring a dino deck um, for you to get... Um, uh, stumbling my words, sorry. I was going to bring a dino deck for you guys today. But the Chaz event just dropped, so I thought I would like keep a Chaz... Well, keep with a Chaz event and bring you a Chaz deck. We can't activate that, which sucks, so we'll summon Spirit Ryu. Don't floodgate it. It's a Spirit Ryu. He has another floodgate. Because then we can use this, send it to the graveyard, and get a level 5 out, but then he's just going to floodgate that. So we can activate this, send it to the grave. And get level 5 out. It's a really cool trick to like level up your armor dragons. But right now we're going to see the floodgate. He has something on his back row. So he's going to enemy controller. Tribute one monster and take control of it until the end turn. I guess that's okay. Hopefully he doesn't do anything to our, our armored dragon. That way we can level it up if we get lucky and draw a level up. I'll just make sure I've got animations turned on as well for this. Character lines on, and 3D animations. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's going to tribute one of his monsters off to, to destroy it. Or not. Well, he probably still will. Yeah, then from that he can tribute his own hand of six hands to destroy this one as well. Let's or he's just going to go straight for battle. I with my monster. <laughs> my this effect will pop off and kill my dragon. Super unfortunate. But this is what I was talking about where they can be stopped in so many different ways. And we pulled the one card that would have <laughs> been amazing. So we'll just end our turn and probably, well, 100% will lose. Because we could have leveled up at a level 5 into a level 7, and then we could have popped off really crazy. Okay. I a so we just lose this, it's completely fine. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't know, you can actually now get skill rewards, for, well skill drops through PvP, which is really cool. So make sure you're doing PvP battles, because there's chance of skills dropping. My first PvP fight of the day, I got two skills from one duel, which is really cool. So we lost that one. We'll jump into another one, hopefully it's faster. Unless a Chaz arrives and then um, I'll quickly like farm him, see if we can get any cool drops. I've seen a lot of you tweet at me as well, or send in my Discord, that you've been pulling Prismatics from the Chaz event, which is really, really cool to see. I'm glad that um, quite a few of you are getting really good luck. And to the ones that are not pulled anything yet, um, just good luck. Keep trying. You will pull something. You just need to give it time. Remember, it's only the first day of the event, so you don't stress yourself out. It looks like we're going against a Dark Magician deck and going second. Ooh, this is a really nice hand. Especially if we join to another level up. But if he sets one floodgate, we'll basically lose. Oh, it's Cyber Angels. Let's see how far he goes. If he brings out Dakini, I don't think we can get over it. That's completely fine. 
Or if he brings out the Sapphire Dragon or whatever it's called, um, we won't be able to get over that either. So it goes into another Senju. If we pull another level up, it's really, really, it's going to be cool. We need to pull another level up right now. But he just, he basically got the Sapphire in his hand right now, I think. I'm not too sure. Oh, we pulled another level 7. So what we'll do is just bring out level 3. Activate this. Send it to the grave. We'll grab one from the deck. And what's this guy's effect again? Send one with attack less or equal. We'll send a level 7 to destroy. Then from this, we'll destroy this. End our turn, and I think its ability kicks in, and we can turn it into a level 7. Hopefully he doesn't bikini us. We're in such good shape. Oh, here it is. We did it, guys. Wow. First time seeing this, by the way. That is so cool. I really hope there's a game map for that. Because it's got its own man animation, it must have its own um, game map. So I'll bring a video soon on how to farm the game map, if there is one. Please, here's the, he's going to get the bikini to his hand right now, just to destroy us. If he doesn't destroy us and we can attack over something, we can get level 10 out next turn. Wait, how much attack does his um, dragon have? He ends his turn! And we pulled level up! Oh, this is gonna be good. Please say this is animation for level 10. Wait, what? From a level- what? I don't get that whatsoever. I just messed up bad. I, f I thought level 7 brought out level 10. We just m misplayed so bad, we just cost ourselves the game. That's... Well, I had level 7. Why did level up not turn it into level 10? I sent level 10 to the grave, didn't I? I completely forgot about that. And now we can get over us because we're only 2400 instead of 2800. Oh well, first time ever using this deck. And now we got the Dakini so he would have been able to get over us anyway. Yeah, this is... We just lost this anyway. Really cool seeing the animation, though. Ooh, that's a prismatic bikini as well. I'll keep messing around with armored dragons, because if I can make a competitive armored dragon deck, I will be using it all the time. I just wish Chaz had... Um, Chaz or Little Yugi had an ability which can, like, help leveled creatures. Like, if you lose... 2,000 life points or 1,800 life points, you can add a level up from your deck to your hand or something. There really should be a skill like that in the game. If there was a skill like that in the game, I, th I think level decks would be a lot more viable. But I've definitely made the deck as fast as possible in the way that um, to be able to summon the big creatures. But, yeah, it's still not good enough because, like I said, back row just shuts you down instantly. It doesn't matter what we draw into. Yeah, it's all exchange. It's not going to help. I guess you could add some stamping destructions, but they're not going to work if you get floodgated. Even though we could just attack into me and just end the game really fast, he's going to keep fusing and stuff. Show 
I dislike people that do this. Because <laughs> it's just like, come on, just attack. You have game, just attack. There we go. I might, I could try one more, but I think we all know how that's going to go. I think that's the closest we're going to get to a victory. I'll put the deck on screen one more time so you guys can see it. And recommend down in comments some cards I could swap in or swap out. Or ways that you've um, found out with this deck and like done something crazy with. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, this is this is the deck again. Obviously you could run it with someone else, but I like running it with the Chaz because it's um, they are the Chaz's cards basically. But yeah, that's the deck right there. If you can figure out ways of increasing the power or increasing the speed of how you can get the Armored Dragons out, just let us know down in the comments and it'll help out the community because I'll show it off on the channel. I'll give you a shout out as well. And yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really helps our channel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.